हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल माइक्रो कंट्रोलर्स हब ऑनलाइन ट्यूटोरियल चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम दैट वी फेस फॉर ऑडविनो बेस्ड प्रोजेक्ट्स दैट इज नंबर ऑफ अवेलेबल इनपुट पिंस इन मेनी प्रोजेक्ट्स वी नीड टू कनेक्ट फोर बाय फोर की पैड अलॉन्ग विथ एल टू ऑडविनो ओनो विच इज नॉट फिजिबल विथ ओनली फोर्टीन डिजिटल आई ओपिंस फॉर दिस यू मे चूज टू गेट आई एक्सपांडर अवेलेबल इन मार्केट but again they are either outdated or costly to use furthermore they are mainly digital io expander and i2c address are fixed by their manufacturer so in this video we are going to solve this problem by using arduino as a io expander which allows digital io as well as analog pwm io pin expansion with very negligible cost so without wasting time let's get started In this project we are going to use I2C protocol to communicate with IO expander. I have already made video explaining basics of I2C and how to implement it on Arduino. So firstly check that out for getting basic understanding of I2C. You can get that link in upper right corner and in description as well. Now let's move to step 1 hardware setup. Here Arduino Uno is main controller responsible for reading commands from serial port. Consider all of the pins of Arduino Uno board are already used and you want to connect two more LEDs for some indication purpose. Here comes the role for Arduino Nano which is used as IO expander. We will connect two LEDs to pin 8 and pin 9 and control them through I2C. Let's name these LEDs as LED 1 and LED 2 for our simplicity. Now it's time for step 2 software part. For master we have defined some basic commands for comparing with serial input in setup initialize serial communication with baud rate of 9600 along with uno as i2c master in void loop read data coming from serial terminal and compare it with predefined commands once command is matched send control signals over i2c bus to io expander you can define infinite number of commands as per your requirements for slave initialize it as i2c slave with same address used in master code initialize pin 8 and 9 and let them be off state by default once data is available on i2c bus decode that data and control your ios where in this case led1 and led2 we can also make code changes to read pin data and send it back to i2c master well understanding this code would be simpler if you check out my previous video of explaining how to use arduino i2c you can also visit my website for getting connection diagrams and complete code explanation you can get that link down below in the description as well after this let's compile our code and upload it for arduino uno followed by io expander board that is arduino nano now it's time for the demonstration here you can see i have made connections as described in step 1 now let's open serial terminal for arduino uno and send commands defined in master that is led1 on which is decoded as turn on led1 same goes for led2 as well you can turn on and off by sending commands led2 on led2 off you can use this technique to add hundreds of extra inputs to your arduino with only two wires by using a fancy communication protocol called i2c that's it for this video guys hit like button if you like this video and share it with your friends if you found it helpful and i'm your host varad kulkarni signing off